My name is Krista Garrison. I'm a research professional at Maine Health, and I've been a supporter of Safe Passage since 2005. I adopted a little baby girl from Guatemala in 2000, also in 2005, and my first event was one of the 5Ks at Cumberland High School. In 2019, I was lucky enough to visit the project on a mother-daughter's week um, of service, and it was really a transformative week for my daughter, especially who would be her first time back in the country from when I adopted her. And for me to be able to see um, where these beautiful children were living and learning. Um, I had been in Guatemala in 1996 and fell in love with the country and the people and especially the children. And so to go back and see all those beautiful, shining, happy faces um, was really, very heartwarming and to know that they are happy and they are thriving and it's because of Safe Passage that they are doing that. The services that Safe Passage provides to the children from an early, early age are so important. That early time frame where they are able to get um, to school and get some structure and to start to learn and think critically about life and, um, and the, th the world around them is really important and so the, con to continue to support them and those children through this process and to get them to where they're even graduating from high school so they have opportunities when they get out of the program to be able to be successful people in their adult life. We know that we can't visit the project right now and that's heartbreaking and I worry about the people there all the time especially the moms who are trying so hard to take care of their kids and a part of Crayamos and the other great programs besides the schooling of the kids. Um, the needs of those children and those families are still really, really high. They still need to study and they are studying, although studying from home, and they still need food and they need healthcare. And so we still need to support them. It's really important.